So IC2020 in India was supposed to be one of the largest conferences that we have ever organized. We had so many things going on in our favor. We had an experienced conference team that already delivered IC2019 with us, a team that we already knew and felt familiar with. We had such a big milestone ahead of us, launching the next midterm direction. And everything seemed as this is going to be the biggest conference that we have ever organized. We were very excited about it. We were very excited to work together with the CC team that was doing such a tremendous job with uh, IC 2019 and we were very excited to see how all of that with the one more year of preparation will actually have looked like. So I think IC 2019 actually like you know kind of uh, gave the uh, you know energy for the team for the entire year because uh, we were like in a span of 40 days if we're able to do IC 2019, what more beautiful things that we can create in 2020. And it was a constant thought of imagination, constant thought of like, you know, uh, making sure that we, 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 we perfect at what we're doing, we get better at what we're doing. So if I have to say, they consisted with a lot of experimentation, a lot of energy and a lot of you know, initiation from the team. Good evening and thanks for joining us. The World Health Organization has now confirmed what many epidemiologists have been saying for weeks. The coronavirus is a pandemic. Now there have now been over 10 million reported cases of coronavirus worldwide and more than half a million people worldwide have lost their lives. On average, more than 4,700 people are dying around the world from COVID-19 linked illnesses every 24 hours. You know, we have to like, uh... We, we get to take a decision from ISIC and India side that like we will, uh, you know, kind of uh, close the conference and we're not going to go ahead with it. And the thing was, the, the country is going into lockdown from the next day. So I have to tell the team, it was something that was, you know, definitely that the team understood that this is going to happen. I mean, some of the most obvious challenges of shifting IC to be virtual were just trying to understand how to bring this element of connection and uh, building meaningful relationships that every IC represents in a life of an ISACR to happen in a completely different environment. That's a very exclusive opportunity which we yearly allow to seven, eight, nine hundred people. This moment will have 14,000 people, almost 14,000 people from all over the world joining the conference. And this was something that we immediately started falling in love with as an idea. I see is one thing that every ISACA would want to, you know, uh, attend and like be there. Uh, yes, it is virtual, but I'm sure that like, you know, the conference is prepped up in such a way that the objectives are met and like everyone experiences something beyond their imagination. And uh, I think it's going to set a precedent which is one of the very important things that we wanted to do in our IC to set a benchmark. You know, thinking of 10,000 people being on a platform from 120 countries, that's just magical. Hey Isaac! 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 Welcome to IC 2020. Welcome to IC 2020. Welcome to IC 2020. Welcome to IC 2020. Welcome to IC. 2020. Welcome to IC 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 2020. And welcome to IC 2020. 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 Hey Isaac. Welcome to IC 2020.